At the beginning, we will create a basic structure for our content. We will add MT5 for necessary top margin for our main. We will create a container because we are going to use a grid. And then we divide the content into sections. Section does not have any special properties, but provide necessary clarity and readability for our project. Each section should have a unique ID, because later we will link them with the navigation. Between the sections, we will place a divider with top and bottom margins to separate one section from another. We need four sections. So we can duplicate the first one. And just change the comments and IDs. Don't forget about the comments, you will appreciate them when your project grows. We'll have four sections. Best Features, Examples, Gallery and Contact. And in each lesson we'll take care of one of them. Let's take care of first section, Best Features. We need a heading. H2 will do the work. Some margin bottom. Then we create a grid. We will use the same trick with the flex row and the centered column as we did in the intro. Within the column, we add a description. Just a dummy paragraph with Lauren Ipsum. Looks good, but we need to center the content. So we add a class text center to the section. Perfect. In the second row, we'll need three equal columns. Don't forget about margin button, other way, it won't look good on mobile. Let's duplicate that column 
two times more Okay, to each column we add an icon. As always, you can use whatever icon you like. Let's say I will use Retro Camera. Well, it's very small now, but we'll fix it later. Then some heading to the icon. And a description. All right. Good. So we can duplicate that content to each column. And just change the icons and headings. Let's see how it looks. And we've got a bug somewhere here. Yes, the camera. We don't need it. All right, perfect. Well, our icons are very small, so we need to make them bigger. It's very easy to achieve. We just need to add a class FA for X or 2X or 3X or 5X. As you can see, you can easily manipulate the size of the icons. All right, that looks good. Nevertheless, it could be even better if it has more lively color. Let's add class orange text to the icons. Nice. At the end, we'll make some improvements to our typography. We'll add class gray text to each description and font weight bold to headings. Alright, now it's perfect. 